BBC Radio Merseyside. We've been asking you this morning, what did you like to do when you were a child? When I grow up, I want to be this. When I grow up, I want to be that. Well, uh, let's talk more about this. We're talking about getting girls into engineering this morning as the government are launching its Tomorrow's Engineers Week after finding that young people are just saying, I don't want to do that. Well, what do you know about it? I don't really know anything about it. So how can you say you don't want to do it if you don't know anything about it? And this is the problem. And it seems some girls in particular are turning their backs on it too. But in Holly Lodge Girls College, the young ladies there are not only choosing to do engineering, but also have a group called the Physics Girls. Uh, I think we have Hamdi Ogunlai, who's on the line now. And uh, good morning to you, Hamdi. Good morning. So you are part of the Physics Girls, are you? Yeah. You sound as though you should be on the X Factor with a name like that. <laughs> Tell me about the Physics Girls. Um, it was meant to be just a simple Twitter account to, mm. like, conclude every one of our lessons. So we'd, like, write a tweet to summarize what we'd learned. And in the process, we got followed by different physicists and women in physics. And then we started getting um, women come in and talk to us. And we went on trips, like um, Liverpool University um, lectures. And then we had a trip to CERN in the summer. Oh, CERN. This is where the, uh, the, the um, hydrogen thing underneath the Swiss Alps. Yeah. I, see, I didn't do engineering. The hydron... Uh, let me, I'll get it. I'll get it. It's the hydron something or other. Do you know the name of it? The, hy the hydron... <laughs> no. <laughs> hydron accelerator. That's it. Not yeah. the hydron accelerator. The hydron accelerator. So you're going to have, a, you're gonna have a, a trip over there as well? No, we've been. Oh, you've been? What was it like? Um, It was really interesting. Yeah. And we got a lot of tours around the CERN itself. Unfortunately, we weren't allowed to go down to the, uh, um, the thing. underground, yeah, but the thing. we yeah. watched a lot of really cool videos and saw, like, literally physically how it works. So this all started with with a tweet. I mean, it was, was engineering and, and physics something that you were, you were really into anyway, was it, uh, Andy? No. It was, um, I've always been, I've never really been a science girl. Yeah. So... But it was science was just something I did. It's kind of like a side subject, which is weird because it's so hard. See, well, you know, when I was in school, science was always, uh, it was the domain of the boys and engineering was always the domain of the boys. I mean, it's a lot different now, thankfully, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's, um, a lot of girls are actually interested in it because we find science more fun. And what about your mate Jodie? Is she there as well? Jodie. Is Jodie there? Yeah. Okay, can I have a quick, quick word with Jodie? Hello. Hiya, Jodie. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm I, love the, I love the way your mate Hamdi you went, Jodie, Jodie, quick, you are. <laughs> Jodie, you're quick. Uh, so what about you and the engineering and the science and the physics? Uh, well, is that something you wanted to get into too, or did you just fall into the interest? Um, yeah, I'm looking to be a chemical engineer, so that's what I'm hoping to study at university. And, and what do you do as a chemical engineer then? Um, design systems for chemical processes. Wow, okay. Is that something that you've always wanted to do? I mean, because most little girls, I uh, suppose, that, that wouldn't be on their list. Well, no, it's not something that I've always wanted to do, but um, last year I went to Mersey STEMS Engineer Your Future Career Day, and um, there I got to do loads of workshops, and while I was there I worked with some chemical engineers, and that really inspired me to do that, and I've just completed a four-week placement at Mexican Floor in Runcorn. Oh, wow. Well, up in the, well, you've got the chemical industry up in Runcorn and Witness as well, haven't you, yeah. that way, so that's ideal for you. And did you ever think that this would be a path that you would you would go down? Because uh, obviously something has just sparked, something's triggered you into this, and something inside you has, uh, has just gone off, hasn't it? Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't think I ever would have done it because I was always thought, oh, girls can't do it. You know, it's all dirty. It's like being a mechanic, but it's not. I've always loved maths and I've always loved science, so something I've wanted to pursue. I think those days are over now, aren't they? Of uh, oh, well, these are jobs for boys and these are jobs for girls. I mean, that's hopefully that's all all finished and done with now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, listen. Thank you. I'm going to leave you to uh, to, to carry on because you've got a long school day ahead of you. Thanks very mm -hmm. much for talking to me. Uh, thank you. Have yourself a great time. Well, do you see you soon? Bye bye. There's bye. Jody and there's uh, Hamdi uh, as well. And uh, they, well, what can you say? They are our future. Say no more. They are the ladies. I mean, chemical engineering. And I, I do apologize. That's why I push buttons and talk rubbish, because I don't know what the hydrant is. Still, is it the hadron, hadron Collider underneath the, uh, underneath the Alps? You say, I knew nothing about that, but I pretended I did. It's all smoke and mirrors. It's all bluster. 28 minutes to nine. Let's get the late.